I'm Chris Roberts, welcome to my site. When I started on my journey to find a spiritual companion, it felt a bit overwhelming and I had lots of questions. What exactly is spiritual direction? What do we do when we meet? Is this like having a spiritual therapist? Well, let me describe what I offer and see if I can help you in your process. What is a spiritual director, spiritual companion? The term spiritual director has been used for many years, but it can imply that I'm directing or prescribing what you should do, which isn't the most helpful image. Rather, I see my role more as a spiritual companion. You are on your spiritual journey and I am walking alongside you, holding space for some of your questions and listening as you pay attention to the stirrings of the spirit within. I personally find it incredibly helpful to meet with someone on a regular basis to try to put to words what is going on inside of me, which isn't always easy. And I hope to provide that non-judgmental space for others. What do we do when we meet? I like to start our time together with some moments of quiet to disconnect us from our busy lives and help us get into a space to settle in. From there, I will ask some questions about your spiritual journey and mostly the time is spent listening to you. It's not me giving you 10 tips for a better life or offering you a lecture. Rather, we are paying attention together to what is coming up. What sort of things would we talk about? Each person is unique, but here are some common things that might show up in a spiritual guidance session. Maybe you feel like you're in a spiritual desert and what used to help you feel connected to God no longer does. Maybe you're in transition and you need to process a decision or a new situation. Maybe you desire to understand your unique contribution and gifts and need someone to listen to you as you grow in your self-awareness. Or perhaps you're facing burnout and need a place to admit that and to look towards rest and renewal in your life. Practically speaking, what does this mean? We meet for an hour and some people like to meet monthly or every other week so you can decide what rhythm works for you and we can adapt as needed. I offer a sliding scale for my practice in order to make sure this is as accessible for as many as possible. Where can I learn more? To learn more, I encourage you to check out thecontemplativelife.net. I co-host a podcast called The Contemplative Life, which is a helpful resource as well. Thanks for listening and I hope we have a chance to connect further.